Hello everyone and welcome back to another plan with me. This week I am planning from May the 11th to May the 17th and I am using a strawberry lime design kit which is very odd because I don't often use strawberry lime design kits Um, in fact I cannot remember the last time I used one but I saw this and I loved the colours so so much I absolutely love the design, I love the deco, I love the motto, I just, I love it all. So I really wanted to use this kit because not only is it spring-like and it's nature-based, be brave. I'm going to talk about that for a second whilst I pop down the sheets and, and I'll do the sidebar. But before I get into that, we've got four boxes. We have washi strips here, quarter boxes and half boxes, plus we've got date covers, some few headers here, then we've got some strips and some checklists, which is all cool. So, okay. The reason why I chose Be Brave is because for those of you who missed it, last night, which was Sunday, yes, this is a this is a day late. Last night it was revealed that the lockdown, although it's not over per se, it is being I don't know what the best word is, it is being eased slightly. There are now there are more things you can do now. There are, you know, you can drive, you can go for picnics, you can do all of, do all of that kind of stuff. You um, People are also being actively encouraged to go to work. And the reason why I chose this kit for this week is because I don't agree with it, um, to be completely honest with you. I panic it is too soon, I panic that a second peak will happen and what panics me even more is that my husband unfortunately is one of those people who now has to go back to work. He's had seven weeks off, bless him, um, he's quite enjoyed having seven weeks off although he has really missed the routine of work and missed you know interaction with other people it's also given it given him a bit of a breather which is nice to see but yes unfortunately he works in retail so his job cannot be done from home because he's not in the call center or anything he's just you know he's a team leader so he's literally on the shop floor helping customers and that can't be done unless the shop isn't open and his, his his shop has been told that they've now been put into a category for homewares which now can go open so there's nothing he can do really about it there's not much anyone can do it was you know the CEO's decision it was their decision nothing to do with us But we are thankful that he still has a job because, of course, unfortunately, so many haven't. And yeah, it's just been a bit of a, I don't know, a bit of a wake up call, really. Perhaps, like, people still have to go out there and be brave, I guess, <laughs> and fight it. I don't know. So, as we discovered last time, oh no, it does fit now. I swear I did this didn't, the sidebar full box didn't fit last time. Oh well, we're not going to complain. Not going to complain at all. Right. So let's work out what we've got here for the sidebar. We do have a habit tracker, which is awesome. 
always like a good tablet driver. Still currently taking my Arnica pills, so that's what I've been tracking there. Meals will be next. Now I need to bring out some more habit trackers. Mm, definitely. Okay, so habit tracker found. This one I believe was a leftover from a kit called Managing Mischief Co. But unfortunately they've been shut now for quite some time. So if you ever want to find one of their stickers, I think your only hope will now be D stash groups perhaps, um, I don't know, they have been shut for a little while, which is, you know, it's really sad for them. And it's sad for us too, because I actually quite enjoyed their stickers, but I will, not much we can do. So I'm going to use this little bit of extra washi tape just at the bottom here carry it on and just get rid of some of that white space at the bottom of the sidebar. Okay, moving on, of course I am going to stick to my usual uh, mm, I don't know actually I'm... yes I am going to stick to my usual layout well my now normal i feel like everyone is saying that phrase nowadays a new normal my new normal um layout which is actually going back to an old normal layout now i'm going to confuse the hell out of people and for that i apologize um but this kit doesn't really offer that many headers so what i might do is bring out, bring down, sorry, the full boxes to cover the headers that are actually already in the kit. Perhaps, I don't know, or should I do it? Headers here and then move that up. Mm. Actually, I might do that. Because I'm very lucky that because this kit came with date covers, I could cover the first lot. There we go. So I've got these marble ones here, which I have four of. So I'm going to do that on four of the days and then do the other three headers out of these ones that I've got here. I think that's probably the best, the best thing I can do. So I think I'm going to do work to do and important. They seem like the most general perhaps? Generalised, yeah. Let's go generalised. They're the most generalised headers. There we go. I'm really, I know I keep saying this, but I'm really loving having this format back. Yeah, I don't, I do know I keep saying it, but it is so true. I just, for so long I was watching videos of people, you know, planning randomly or with scattered boxes and stuff. And I just thought, oh, it looks really nice. I love the way that they do that, I wish I could, and so I gave it a go and thought it looked really cool. But as time went on, I just realised I was using my planner less and less and less, I guess. Um, my planning style never really has been random, I quite like the idea of my plans being planned if that makes sense. I like that organised structure. 
And so now I'm doing it again. I think I've realised that a bit more. Perhaps, I don't know. I'm saying all this. In a month's time I'm going to go back to the way I used to plan. <laughs> That's it's just the beauty about planners and stickers and stuff that... Planning is supposed to provide you some sort of control and some sort of stability and in, inner peace and to be able to, I don't know, see everything listed out in one go so you can do it all. And therefore your plans should change when you change and I know I'm, I'm a big advocate for that, I do really believe that that's how planning should work so. I don't think anything's going to change really until that thing, yeah, that won't change unless I change. <laughs> um, okay, so I feel like the whole world has just turned up in front of my window. So I'm going to put two half boxes down on Saturday and Sunday just in case we get up to start that one again, get up to anything. Um, I do know we're possibly going shopping on Saturday to get some to get some stuff but current family favourite is chia batters, we're really loving chia batters at the moment. So no doubt we'll probably get more of those. Um, another thing about this kit which I forgot to mention actually because I also got this icon sheet for free I think it was a freebie anyway um so I might just use some of these quick it looks like it's a travel one because um you know passports and airplanes and whatnot but I can use this because it's payday on Friday for my husband so I'll use that yeah, definitely a planning, a, a trip planning one I should say, sorry. Um, right, okay, so, as you guys are fully aware, the whole sub box system is completely messed up. This week is now sub box week, so this week we are making everything, labelling everything, wrapping everything, packing it all. And then next Monday, the 18th, is the day we're sending them, so... We're still waiting for a couple of bits to arrive, so that's why we haven't done anything today, but... We are doing stuff, however, every other day this week. Um, I'm going to put a half box down on today, actually, just to remember that today was Marcus's first day back at work. Oh, it sounds like he's going to school. Um, Alright, sub box. Um, am I just... Yeah, I'm gonna have to stagger it so everything isn't all in one go. Stagger, stagger, stagger. There we go. So I'm just going to, I'll write in sub box on those days. Right, okay, other things I need to do. I need to, there's a video going up on Wednesday. I also need to, Put a to buy sticker down on yeah, I'll do it on Thursday. Because it is my brother's birthday next week. So we need to just get the last couple of bits ordered for that. If not, we're giving him money, but he's not really sure what he wants, so it's a bit hard. There we go. And that's gonna be for just budgeting. Okay, other things to do. Now, of course, I've got work which I could mark. 
So I'm feeling like I should have done work using different stickers now. Or I could just mark work at the bottom here. Yeah, no, I might do that. Okay, other things I need to do. I have tarot reading to do for a client tonight. Um, and at some point I'm supposed to have a delivery from my doctors. Who knows when that is going to turn up because this is the doctors after all. And I do understand by the way that there is a global pandemic. But the reason why I say it is because my doctors really aren't how to put it, they're not trustworthy at the best of times at all. So um that's why I say the things that I do about my doctors. Okay, um I'll just do it on Saturday in the hope that it actually turns up. Okay, um I do need to tidy up and I might just pop that on tomorrow and I'll just write in rather than wasting any more stickers um, plan with me should be back to normal by Sunday so that can go there I've got a couple of stickers left and literally no plans so I'm not going to over plan for the sake of over planning I shall leave it at that for today I think yeah, I do really like how this kit looks actually. I'm I'm loving it. I love the spring colours. It's um definitely making me feel a little bit more hopeful for the future. <laughs> um I really do hope that you like this video. Don't forget to like and comment down below if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.